let's take a look at Avogadro's law. When we first learned about Avogadro, we learned that one mole of a substance is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 particles. Now those particles could be molecules or formula units or atoms, depending on the chemical involved. This week, we're gonna look at gases. We're gonna learn what the volume is for one mole of an ideal gas. To sort of summarize Avogadro's relationship between moles and volumes, at a constant temperature and pressure, the moles are directly proportional to the volume. So if the number of moles increases, right? When you're increasing the number of moles, you're increasing the number of molecules. When you're increasing the number of moles, you increase the volume. And this can be summarized by the formula N1 over V1 is equal to N2 over V2. And just like the other laws, if you know any three of these variables, you can solve for the fourth variable. Now, According to Avogadro's law, we also have something called molar volume, right? So molar volume speaks of the amount of space occupied by one mole of a gas. And this again has to be at a specific temperature and pressure. So at standard temperature and pressure, one mole of an ideal gas contains 22.4 liters. And that's always going to be true regardless of the gas that we're looking at. And at standard ambient temperature and pressure, one mole of a gas contains 24.8 liters. And when we look at stoichiometry, we can use this conversion factor as a way to convert from moles to liters or from liters to moles. This is known as our molar volume, the volume of one mole of a gas at a certain temperature and pressure. Now let's take a look at a question that asks us at standard temperature and pressure, one mole of oxygen gas has a volume of 22.4 liters. Now this is the exact same as the conversion factor that we saw previously, right? So this is still part of the question and they're telling us it's standard temperature and pressure. Now we are asked to determine the mass and the number of molecules in 44.8 liters of that gas, right? So we start off with 44.8 liters of oxygen gas. We need to first find the mass of oxygen gas as well as the molecules of oxygen gas. How do we do that? So let's first find the mass of oxygen ga gas. Now, because this is standard temperature and pressure, I know that one mole of oxygen gas has a volume of 22.4 liters. So given here, I can use that conversion factor to cancel out the unit of liters and get to the unit of moles, right? So I know that 22.4 liters is the volume of one mole of oxygen gas. So now I've converted from liters to moles of oxygen gas. Now, how do we go from moles of oxygen gas to grams of oxygen gas? We can use our molar mass, right? So I know that for one mole of oxygen gas, there are 32 grams of oxygen gas. Now, if I type this all into a calculator, right, I will get 64.0 grams of O2, right? There are three significant digits in my question, um, I know that there are three significant digits in my answer. Now I found out the first part, so I figured out the mass of 44.8 liters of this gas. How do I figure out the number of molecules? So I've got 44.8 liters of O2 times one mole of O2, again, divided by 22.4 liters, right? So I can easily convert from liters to moles using this conversion factor. Again, that's only because I've been told that this is at standard temperature and pressure. I wouldn't be able to use this conversion factor if this was not stated, right? But now that I have the moles, how do I go from moles to molecules? 
I have to use Avogadro's number, right? So I know that for one mole of O2, there are 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 molecules. And when I type this into a calculator, I'm going to get 1.20 times 10 to the power of 24 molecules of O2, right? What this step, I just showed you the full step here. But when you take a look here, 44.8 liters of O2 is, because we're given the volume, we know that we're looking at two moles of O2, right? Because one mole of oxygen gas has a volume of 22.4 at standard temperature and pressure. So what they're really asking us was what was the mass of two moles of oxygen gas and what was the number of molecules of two moles of oxygen gas.